Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Track. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five day per week wisdom and legacy building podcast. This is day 481 of our trek, and today is Wisdom Wednesday. Every Wednesday along life's trail, we will dig for the nuggets of wisdom that are found in the book of Proverbs. Today, we will explore the second half of chapter 23. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. Tomorrow in the United States, we will be celebrating our Thanksgiving holiday. I would encourage you to pause and take time to reflect with gratitude for all the blessings that you've experienced over this past year. Even if you are in a difficult season of life, there is so much to be thankful for. With a heart of gratitude, let us break camp for today and head out on our trek and explore for the nuggets of wisdom which are found in the second half of Proverbs 23. We are currently in a third section of Proverbs which covers 30 sayings of the wise. We have explored 13 of them so far and today we will continue with five more. One of those sayings is, get the truth and never sell it. So let's start in with verses 17 and 18. Do not envy sinners, but always continue to fear the Lord. You will be rewarded for this, and your hope will not be disappointed. It is so easy to look at others that seem to be prospering and desire what they have. Most often, though, you only see one small aspect of their life, and you don't see all that they are struggling with. Regardless of others, you need to make wise and prudent choices in your life and continue to follow God's precepts. When you do this, you will eventually see a harvest from your good and faithful planting. This harvest will give you hope, which will minimize your disappointments in life. Let's move on to verses 29 through 21. My child, listen and be wise. Keep your heart on the right course. Do not carouse with drunkards or feast with gluttons, for they are on their way to poverty, and too much sleep clothes them with rags. As Solomon instructs his children, you can learn much from this exhortation. You are to be wise by keeping your hearts and minds on that which is helpful, that is to hike the good trails of life. If you allow yourself to be influenced by people with questionable morals and ethics, you will soon end up like them. Some of their unseemly traits are laziness, poverty, gluttony, and drunkenness. Now on to verses 22 through 25. Listen to your father who gave you life, and don't despise your mother when she is old. Get the truth and never sell it. Also get wisdom, discipline, and good judgment. The father of godly children has cause for joy. What a pleasure to have children who are wise. So give your father and mother joy. May she who gave you birth be happy. There are few joys as great in life for parents than to groom their children into mature, responsible adults. To do so, your life must represent what you desire your children to become. That means that your life will show truthfulness at all costs, integrity, wisdom, discipline, and good judgment. It is then that you'll be able to take pleasure that your children follow your wise example and it will bring you much joy. Verses 26 through 28. O oh my son, give me your heart. May your eyes take delight in following my ways. A prostitute is a dangerous trap. A promiscuous woman is as dangerous as falling into a narrow well. She hides and waits like a robber, eager to make more men unfaithful. In this passage, Solomon once again visits a familiar subject for his son. His exhortation, which we can apply to our lives, is to follow the ways of individuals that are godly and wise, a person whose integrity has stood the test of time. Otherwise, you will fall prey to the temptations of life that will lead you down the trail of destruction. One of the most common is to fall prey to sexual sins. It is a trap that is nearly impossible to escape from, like a narrow well with slick internal walls. Once you fall into this trap, your life will be destroyed. And then on to the last passage, which is verses 29 through 35. Who has anguish? Who has sorrow? Who is always fighting? Who is always complaining? Who has unnecessary bruises? Who has bloodshot eyes? It is the one who spends long hours in the taverns, trying out new drinks. Don't gaze at the wine, seeing how red it is, how it sparkles in the cup, how smoothly it goes down. For in the end, it bites like a poisonous snake. It stings like a viper. You will see hallucinations, and you will say crazy things. You will stagger like a sailor tossed at sea, clinging to a swaying mast. And you will say, they hit me, but I didn't feel it. I didn't even know it when they beat me up. When will I wake up so I can look for another drink? Drinking alcoholic beverages has been the destruction of the many masses of people. And this passage describes it so well. While there is nothing in scripture that forbids drinking alcoholic drinks, it has been the downfall of many people. 
Certainly some people may have a genetic weakness to addictions, but one thing to consider regardless of this, if you don't drink, you won't get drunk and suffer the consequences that are described here. Ask yourself, is the pleasure of drinking worth the risk of anguish, sorrow, fighting, complaining, bruises from falling, bloodshot eyes, hallucinations, and an unbridled tongue? With the huge variety of non-alcoholic drinks that are available today, it would be wise to ask yourself if the rewards of drinking outweigh the potential risk. Certainly as you make wise choices in your life, consider your choices when it comes to eating, drinking, or any other substance that may become addictive. Today we've explored five more wise sayings, which leaves us much to consider. Next Wisdom Wednesday, we will continue on the trail of the sayings of the wise. These proverbs will continue to provide you with more wisdom, insight, and understanding. And regardless of where you are on your faith walk, if the precepts and proverbs are followed, your life will be rich and satisfying. Take them and plant them into your heart, and you will reap a harvest of wisdom. Tomorrow we will be on another short trail of the Wisdom Unplugged series, where we will discover an inspirational wisdom quote. So encourage your family and friends to join us, and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our trek for today. Just as you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, we ask you to help us to grow Wisdom Trek by sharing it with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person when you meet with them and invite them to come along with us each day. I would challenge you today to take just one of the precepts that we learned in Proverbs and commit yourself to applying it to your life. The journal for today's trek is available at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.